the transition to Ohio State, you know, how has that been? And how do you plan on bringing that success that you had at TCU to Ohio State? Well, number one, uh, the transition has been rough at the beginning, you know, more of just from a personal standpoint and being away from my family and, and how overwhelming all the different things and all the tasks, you know, the baseball part, recruiting and assembling a staff, that's the fun part, you know, I mean, that, that's, that's stuff I've always done, but all the other headaches, and, you know, worrying about budgets and things that I've, I've taken for granted because I've been, been so fortunate to come in from TCU and we were so blessed with that. Right. So the that part was overwhelming and then the, the awesome part was that the cupboard isn't bare here we have some really good pieces some really great kids and they've had a hundred percent buy-in so that's all you can ever ask from as a new coach and a new staff that they have a hundred percent buy-in and, and and that they're a pretty talented group you know that's a pretty good mixture right there um so that you know that's where it starts. I, I was able to assemble a, an all-star staff, absolutely fantastic, and then they've done a great job of coaching these guys, and then they bought into the system, and so we've made some great strides. Yeah, and uh, I just speaking on that, I'm glad you brought that up. Like you said, you had great budget. I mean, down in in Texas, I'm not actually in Texas yeah. right now. I'm usually in gotcha, Texas. Right, yeah. I'm in Miami right now, but in Texas, uh-huh. you get the yeah. I, I was laughing, coach. You want to know why I was on the. Uh, I was on the phone with the UTSA coach not too long ago, and I was messing with okay, him yeah. because yeah. of uh, they don't know how to handle the ice down there. Now you okay, being in, yeah. <laughs> they never knew. No. Actually, they knew here. But yeah, so my family, so my family still living in Fort Worth, so they went through that last week. They uh, they went through that, and my uh, my fifteen year old, the sophomore, he got to miss a whole week of school because of just some some stuff. Yeah, you know, oh, so right. Missed a whole week. And and, and and exactly, and and that's what I'm laughing about because actually, you know, yeah. I'm I lived in I, when I went to college, I was actually in Ohio, so I was like, I wonder yeah. how Coach is going to handle that. Being yeah. in in on two, you know, in February in Texas, you know, you got Tuesday Wednesday games. Uh, now I see yeah. you got one heck of a schedule you lined up here. You got UConn and the Snowbird Classic. Uh, you got Grand Canyon. You got Gonzaga, another team last year that made the tournament. Mississippi State. In Texas, the yeah. third week. So I see you're not playing yeah. any games with your schedule, but how will you nope. bring that? Because you got those Tuesday, Wednesday games in February at TCU, coach. Yeah. How will you get Ohio State ready for that? Yeah. So you know, so the first two weeks we play four game series. So so, so this weekend against UConn, we go Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So the Monday's like your Tuesday game coming home. So that's the four games, and then week number two, like you said, we play. Grand Canyon 2, and we play Gonzaga 2, so that's another four-game series. That, that'll be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right. But that'll sort of take place, like, that, that's, that'll be like the first two weekends playing it on a Tuesday, you know, playing that fourth game. So that'll help us get our pitching depth and, you know, find out who the best nine guys are and give some guys some opportunities to shine and, right. and all that. So so by design, we're doing that, even though that's a tough, that's eight, we're going eight games in ten days, so that's never easy. Um you know, especially early when your pitch, your pitchers' pitch counts aren't very high. Right. Um, but yeah, so that's 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 how we decide the first two weeks, and then in, in week number four, we actually play a, a two midweek games. In week number four, we're gonna go to we're gonna we go to California on the fourth weekend, then we come home here, and then we go to Marshall on a Tuesday, Wednesday. So that'll be after week four is when we start the midweek games. Wow. Yeah, and that was. Yeah, so we'll, yeah, and and yeah, yeah and I, I respect you for that coach and and people, you know, this has been a question I've asked all coaches and this this is going to transition into the tournament. And, you know, number 1 before I go into that question, your long-term goal coach there, is it to host a region at Ohio State? Ohio State is just one of those schools like Alabama, yeah. USC, they want every sport great. And when you think of the pro sports in America, the top 3, basketball, Football, baseball. They want everybody wants right. those three sports to be great. So right. with the what your what your you know what your energy what you're trying to bring there. Are you trying to one day you know it obviously takes a while to build a program. Are you trying to one day host a regional? Well, you know maybe this is just my naive, naive but um, that's not my long term long term goal. That's my short term goal. Hey, res- I respect I, it, coach. I, 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 I want to do that. You know. I don't put years on it, but I'm not, we're not shying away from trying to host a regional this year. Wow! Um, and that's that's why I came here. And now, my you know, my, a lot of the story goes back for me is in, in 1999. 
I was on my way. I was coaching in Oklahoma, and I was on my way to manage in the Cape Cod League like I did every year, did, did for six years during that span. And um, so on my way out, Cal State Fullerton happened to be playing here at, in Columbus, in this Ohio State, in the Super Regions. And my all my buddies were the staff at Cal State Fullerton, so we stopped on our way to the Cape. And I was here in 1999, and, and they were hosting a Super Regional with 7,000 fans. And I said to myself, "This is like this is what it looks like. I want to. I, this is where I want to coach. I want it to." look like this so i had those expectations from ohio state and then you know it's just interesting you know there's all kinds of factors and bad luck or just things didn't go their way and then it just they it never happened from that time but from afar i was always watching and saying man how come they're how come they're not hosting how come they're not winning championships and mm. so that was i always said from you know i always said to myself that's the place i want to be i think you know with that brand and the, like you said the high standards in all sports and name recognition around the country from california to texas to florida like everybody knows who ohio state is maybe they don't think of them as a baseball school at the moment but they will so that was the goal so yeah and then you know when i'm leaving football games here every you know during the fall five five the first five weeks we had home games and I'd be coming to my office after that and they have all the tailgates around the field because there's tailgates all over and I said to myself this is what the, what Ohio State games are going to look like when we're hosting regionals and super regionals like they're going to be we don't need uh, we don't need 80 we don't need 107,000 we just need 5 to 7 000. right <laughs> you know? right so that that was my deal just the surrounding tailgating and stuff I like that this is what this place is going to look like one day you know and again like I'm, just, I'm not going to shortchange these players the guy the kids that are ready here I'm not going to say give me three years wait till I get my players in you know what I mean or hey give us some time and no right. we all know there's reality and we you know we all get it's, you know college baseball is so good and there's so many great programs and so we're trying to catch a lot of people you know one day at a time but um yeah, that's that's the goals, and I'm not going to shy away from it. And I, and quite frankly, I wouldn't have taken this job if I didn't believe it was possible. I didn't, I didn't need this job. I wanted it. I was, I had the greatest uh, assistant coaching job in the country, at, at my belief. At one, my no, no, one hundred percent, one hundred percent agree, Coach. I see, I saw y'all yeah. running uh, in the last ten years to the College World Series. One hundred percent agree. Yeah, and I, and I, and we, I was surrounded by great coaches and great kids and so i know the formula i know the recipe easier said than done um but uh, yeah that's the challenge that's the fun part but like i said i'm not one to shy away from challenges as you can see and, and i'm hoping that my players can have the same beliefs that i have because i know my coaches do yeah and uh boy you on that note you know we got to say you got to beat michigan especially since it's ohio state yeah. and their their recent success as a big 10 team getting to regional super regionals yeah. and to the college world series Sure, they, you know, and, and you know, them and Louisville showed me that it can be done out here. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, I, I'd be lying if, if if I didn't see the success that both those programs have had. And you know, Louisville's had a TCU success. You know, I mean, they've been sustaining it, and they're not that far from here. And that's a colder weather school, right? So, if they can do it, why can't we? And and, and yeah, and I, you know, the team up north, you hate to talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, I watched that, and Eric Dackage is a good buddy of mine, and I watched what a great job he, him, and and. Schnabel had done the, their top assistant, and I t- said, "Man, man, that looks fun over there, and, and uh, I can't wait to p- to play that club." Yeah, and uh, that transitions. You opened up my uh, my second to last question, Coach. Uh, that Michigan Louisville game had a uh, controversial uh, call there, and I don't yes. want to get into it. I, I don't want to do politics, but I just yeah. want to say, you know, and I respect. Let me say this: I respect umpires. Umpires have our job, but Coach, sure. I- is it time? For the NCAA to get a command center. Now, we know, uh, as I've talked to most coaches, that budget for every game will be ridiculous. But just for, like, regionals, super regionals, and the College World Series, so then that way there's no doubt that the call is right and the kids don't have to worry. And, you know, sometimes coaches' jobs could be on the line. So is there any way you think that we could implement that to make sure we get the call 100% right and, you know, do something like that? Yeah, you know, most of the leagues do have the replay and, and all that, but they're still not, like you say, in the major league style where there's a, where there's a committee up there that's looking at the plays. And, and I would think at the worst case, like you say, we know costs would be immense, but at least super regionals. You know what I mean? I'd, I'd love to be in the regionals, but, like, come on, we got we got to say in the super regionals. You know, super regionals on, we've right. got to be able to get it right, you know, and that would – so you have a great point with that. Um, uh, but yeah, so uh, and, and college baseball, they're making great strides every year, and I wouldn't be surprised if that doesn't happen. Oh, yeah, I love it, Coach. I mean, now, I don't I mean, before you'd have to 
uh, uh, fill out your request, media credentials, try and get to here, drive. Now it's like, okay, I can just order ESPN Plus and go to the closest school I need. Everything's on ESPN Plus now, so you can can catch college baseball when you need. Yeah, no doubt. That's what, you know, it's growing fast. I got, I got tons of high school coaches and buddies of mine that they just sit on that app, like you're saying, to watch six games a day once the season gets going, and they're super excited to do that. So Right. So my final question, Coach, because I know you're a busy man. I appreciate yeah. your time. And I yeah. want to go. You. Thank you, Coach. And the, the final question is tournament expansion. Now, Coach, let me tell you this. Some of the mid-major schools up in your area, which I don't know if you uh, play, you do have some good ma- mid-major schools in your area, like Wright yeah, right State yeah. that you probably yeah, might have one too. Yeah. yeah, they're yeah. good school. Yeah. Do they're, uh, okay, so when I speak to certain coaches, they're worried, okay, if we expand the NCAA tournament, because obviously with college football playoff, you had the BCS, that people didn't like that. Then you had the, uh, now you got right. the final four. Now they're going to 12 teams. College basketball got the first four in. Yada, yada, yada. But th- the point is, some are scared, okay, so is that just going to mean the 10th, the 11th SEC or ACC team in? Uh, you know, teams yeah. like Rutgers, their Big Ten yeah. team, a lot of people thought should have got in last year. Uh, of course, you're probably going to have a great budget there at Ohio State and hopefully one day host the regional soon. Is it time for some type of tournament expansion? Now, some people are say, uh, you know, if they don't want it to be watered down or – you know, is it a happy meeting where we can add teams and make sure maybe a team like a Ball State, let's say, that won 40 right. games last year? Because you know you've been in this business for yeah. years. Winning 40 games is winning yeah. 40 games. So yeah. is there a happy no, medium, no. Coach? You know, you know. Now, me personally, I'm not for expansion. I, I love the way it is now. I, I would love us to be more of – I want the teams that have the great seasons. Like you say, when a certain teams – I don't like to use the term mid-major because I know how easy they can beat us quickly. But say we use the term mid-major. Like, you win 40 games. I don't want a team in the SEC that won 30 games getting in as opposed to a team that won 40 games in the other conferences. So I wish they'd do a better job with that. But I don't – like you said, to me, if they added more teams, then it would be all of a sudden every team in the SEC is in. You know right. What I mean? So they're right. just going to – they're going to add by that way. And I, and I do love the way it is now. I love the setup. Now, I might be good with the 64 teams, 32, three-game series, and then just keep, like, going from there. That way more teams get to host, host you know, different – Three game series and stuff, but I like the way it is now. But I just, I, I wish they would do a better job of the teams that they'll go by the good year, not by the conference. Like, hey, this team had a heck of a year. I don't care if their conference isn't as good as the SEC Big 12, ACC Big 10. Like, hey, they need more teams. So I, I, I'd much rather do just a better job of getting the most, des- I guess I'd say the most deserving teams. I'm not into when somebody thinks that the eye test and the best teams. I want the most deserving. And the most deserving are the teams that win the most games and play the best baseball, you know? Right. So, that, that's what I want. Most deserving teams, but I, I, I don't want it to be, and I believe it would be watered down because I've never actually been on a team that, like, it, it, you know, that had a, uh, not a really good year and didn't get in. Yeah, I mean, I've, every time, the few times I haven't been to one, we didn't deserve to, and I sure wasn't begging to be going because right. we didn't deserve it. Yeah. Right, right. And then you can look at the, the the success of some of the smaller teams. Like, you know, uh, Dallas Baptist. You know, down there, Texas no, State actually. and San Marcos. Yeah. Uh, what's the Georgia Southern hosted one last year? So, yeah. it, just so yeah. everybody knows, it could be done. Coastal won the, the, the World that. Series. And I love that. Yeah. And those are some, like you said, those are some really good programs. Yes. Especially DBU and Texas State. Me up front knowing their coaches and what they're about. Wow. They do a great job. Yeah, yeah, so I got you locked in my phone. So anytime you need something, give me a holler. I will, Coach. I appreciate your time. I yeah, know you're I'll, a busy yeah. man. Uh, you thank you it. so much. Hey, yep. good luck on Friday, man. And yeah. I know you're traveling you're soon. Thank you. Right, appreciate Th- you. Thank you so much, Coach. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye.